Hi, my name's Jamie Adkin from Adder Technology. Uh, we're at the BVE show at Earl's Court and I'm going to take you through a brief run through of Adderlink Infinity at the AIM management system, um, give you an idea of how it can be used to control your system. So we're now going to take you through the physical setup that we've got here on the stand. Um, we're running a 4x4 matrix with four PCs to four screens and then we're using the Adder command and control switch with free throw technology to connect keyboard and mouse to all four receivers. Um, so you can see here that we've got a four screen setup. Um, currently each of these screens is connected to a different channel. So you can see each video is, is different. And then we've got a keyboard and mouse connected through the adder command and control switch uh, which allows us to move the mouse across all of the four screens and take control of each individually. So we've mounted the four receiver units under the pod here and that allows you to um, have the aim connected on a network and then the receiver units um, mounted all together in one system and then on the other pod we have the transmitters and the PCs connected so we're remoting those currently um, over a Cat5 and that could be any distance on the stand we're only using a couple of meters but it could be any distance up to 100 meters as you would with an IP segment we then have the aim management server which is connected allowing us to configure the system and we also have a PC which is on the network and using a web browser to remote into the AIM server to allow us to give us a web interface control. Um, so we have that here on the second pod and that's giving us keyboard and mouse access to Infinity so you can see the management suite and we have full access to change everything that's going on. Okay, so Adlink Infinity Management Suite is made up of six tabs. Um, the first tab is the dashboard, which has given you an overview of uh, the latest active connections and also a brief history in, a, in the event log. Um, from each of these areas, you can drop down into view all of the connections or view all of the history. We've then got the next three tabs, which are the channels, receivers, and transmitters sections. Um, so these are the bits that we're going to use to control the system and determine how the system is used. So the transmitters, here we've got a 4x4 matrix setup. So you can see that we've got four transmitters in the system and all of the text fields are able to be created and that's the name, the description and the location. And we can also see the IP address and the firmware versions. And on the right hand side of the page we have the identify device, the reboot device, delete device and configure device pages. So you can use each of these to connect to each transmitter individually and configure the device. Um, from the transmitters you can create channels, so again we've got four channels here. Um, a channel can be made up of video, audio and USB from any of a mixture of transmitters. And again you can see that there's the same text fields, the similar information, again configure and delete device buttons. The receivers page, again you'll notice there's a common theme, similar buttons, th similar text fields. Uh, we've got four receivers in our setup. The additional buttons on this page are the change channel and disconnect channel buttons. Uh, the change channel button will allow us to change which channel is being viewed by an individual receiver. Uh, so you can actually change what's being shown from the AIM system without going to the receiver itself. And then we also have the disconnect channel button which allows you to actually disconnect anything from being displayed on that receiver. We then have two more pages. The next one is the user's profiles. This allows you to set up user admin rights so that different users can have access to different channels and transmitters. Um, they can also be allow them to set up maybe individual receivers that they can log into or not log into as the case may be. And then the final tab is for presets which allows you to pre-configure scenarios that you'll use in a day-to-day -day basis which allow users to change not only the screen that they're using but also the screens around them. Okay, so that's a brief run through of the system. Uh, we're going to be covering each area in depth in further videos, so keep an eye out on the Adder website to see more.